New at six, the fortunes of some of Hawaii's most prominent leaders could be in jeopardy because of the Maui fire disaster. They are executives and board members of Hawaiian electric companies. Lawsuits by stockholders say the leaders should personally pay millions of dollars to the company. HNN Investigates' Daryl Huff explains. Hawaiian electric companies face hundreds of lawsuits over the Maui fires demanding potentially billions in damages. But lawsuits like this one are different because they go after Hawaiian electric executives and even board members demanding that they pay millions in damages to the company they were leading. The allegations in the shareholder complaint have a lot in common with the other lawsuits, that the company knew its poles and power lines were vulnerable to high winds, but shortchanged repairs and upgrades, and didn't have a plan to cut off power in emergencies. But some shareholders in Hawaii and on the mainland want HEI board directors held accountable. The entire safety protocol regime at Hawaiian Electric uh, was uh, managed and overseen by the individual insiders, that is the senior officers of the company and the directors. The directors of Hawaiian Electric Industries are a who's who of local business and community leaders, like retired Admiral Thomas Fargo, former state land director and insurance executive Tim Johns, and Micah Kane, CEO of the Hawaii Community Foundation, home to the Maui Strong Relief Fund. In its court filings, the company argued there's no point in pursuing the directors because what they could pay is trivial compared to the overall fire damages. We don't view millions uh, and tens of millions as trivial amounts. And perhaps more than that, prominent business people usually carry lots of personal liability insurance and the lawsuits demand they repay what HEI paid them, although part-time, Board Chair Admiral Fargo earned nearly $250,000 last year, John's about $130,000, and Kane $117,000. HEI CEO Scott Seo earned nearly a million, and HECO CEO Shelly Kimura more than half a million. Substantial compensation was paid to people over an extended period of time as directors and officers, and um, they had the highest duty known to the law to protect the company and uh, its shareholders. In court filings, the company says it wants stockholders' cases delayed while the Hawaii courts determined HEI's liability to fire victims. In those cases, the lawyers say they will seek to show that its officers and directors acted entirely properly, faithfully discharged their fiduciary duties, and truthfully disclosed information about HEI's safety and wildfire mitigation efforts. And if you're going to be elevated and accept a prestigious position like this, there are responsibilities that go with it. The shareholders' lawyers say money from HEI leaders' personal assets would go back to the company, which would help HEI pay damages to the fire victims. Hawaiian Electric did not directly comment on the shareholder lawsuits, and none of the board members responded either. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.